Hello and welcome to the CV3 DST exercise. This is the first exercise. It will be about re-identification and my name is Mark and I will walk you through this exercise. If you have any questions, please post them on Moodle or reach out to us via this email address. Now the goal of this first exercise is to um, for you to getting familiar with tracking by detection. What does it mean if you need to implement your own tracker? Understanding the differences between appearance-based matching and IUU-based matching. Implementing several uh, concepts from the lecture by yourself. And the overall goal throughout this whole exercise se series is to build a very capable tracker for the final competition. Now, um, in the following, I will talk about what you should know before you start um, the exercise. So, um, you all should have ex downloaded and run the exercise zero. In the following, I assume that you all have done this. You don't need to um, submit any results any longer for this exercise, uh, for the exercise zero. Um, but you will need to have downloaded all necessary files um, from the framework, framework and also for the data set. Um, next, you will need to know a bit of Python and also a bit of PyTorch, which we'll, we will use to train um, our neural networks. Then you will need to have at least some understanding of linear algebra, of deep learning, that means training and validating a model, what is an optimizer, what is um, what are learning rates, etc. Particularly for this exercise, we also work with several metrics. So you should have an understanding of what is IUU. For measuring tracking, um, we will use the motor and IDF1 scores. Again, if you are not familiar with these, um, feel free to look them up. Um, it will become in handy throughout this exercise. And last but not least, for training your own VID model, it, um, we will use rank one and MAP. And while those are not too important um, to do the exercise, you should have at least basic understanding of what are those metrics measuring. Then for concept that you should know is um, basically um, everything that we covered in the lecture up until now. In particular, um, this is what are detections, what are tracks, um, what is tracking by detections, um, what is Hungarian matching, and what is VID. Now, without that, it's, it might be really hard for you to follow through this exercise. So you should be familiar with um, all these concepts. Um, in detail, in this exercise, you will start by um, implementing a um, Hungarian tracker. You might have seen the very naive tracker in exercise zero. You will extend this. Um, you will then apply your linear algebra knowledge to implement some basic cosine similarity and also a very simple Euclidean distance measure. After that, you will need to implement the triplet loss that we covered in the lecture, and also in particular, the batch hard negative mining. And once you've done this, you will be able to train your own VID model and apply this VID model then in your tracker to submit results and get the bonus. Now, I would encourage you to um, start early. I know you have a couple of weeks for this, but um, training a model um, will consume some time. And also, CoLoop that we will use um, for this exercise has not necessarily always a GPU available. So you might uh, want to start the exercise as early as possible then um, please use the discussion board on Moodle. So um, 
your peers might already have asked the same question that um, you're wondering right now. Then we will offer a specific exercise office hours via Zoom. We will announce them online. And last but not least, we will assume you have Python knowledge and that you also are capable of running notebooks. If you don't, uh, please don't ask us, but get familiar with that yourself. And the last step, once you finish the exercise, if you have still time, um, we encourage you to improve um, the tracker. This will come in handy um, for the final competition in which you need to go beyond what we have covered in the this exercise and the next one. So now let's have a look at the notebook. Um, in the notebook, um, you will, once you've downloaded the notebook, you will be able to upload it on Colab. And then this should be the status that you see. Um, if you don't, feel free to pause the video right now and get up to this point. Now I, um, you should have the notebook right in front of you. And then you need to first follow the setup instructions. This will require you to download some code that we have written for you to make your life a lot easier. Please do so. And this zip file will also contain the data set that we will use for your VID model. After that, then the next steps should already look familiar to you. It's, those are the same as exercise zero. You can just follow them, execute those cells, and this should work um, up to the point until you need to implement something yourself. This involves um, loading external libraries, making sure that all the code is available and all the data sets are available. Um, you can verify this by plotting some nice figures. Um, you need to download, or once you've set everything up, then you will have some pre-trained models available. Um, please make sure you can um, load everything into these um, specific classes that we provide. Basically, everything should run out of the box up to this point. And then we come to the tracking part. Again, the this tracker IEU assignment should look familiar to you. It's the one that was part of exercise zero. Now, as I said, this exercise, uh, this tracker is far from being optimal. So the first thing is to try to improve on that by implementing Hungarian tracker. For each part of the exercise, we have written detailed text instructions. So please follow them um, to make your and our life easier. Um, once you've done this, you can run, run this new Hungarian uh, tracker and it should already improve significantly over what you have in exercise zero. The second part of this exercise is then to train um, and your own model for the first time. Again, we've written a lot of boilerplate code for you that takes care of loading the data, um, about building the model. In this case, we use a simple ResNet 34 model. If you don't know this model, feel free to check it out online. We've also um, written the boilerplate code for your optimizer and learning um, rate scheduler. Feel free to play around with the hyperparameters if you're already familiar with that. And then you need to implement the uh, Euclidean and cosine distance functions, which are then used for evaluating your VID model. Again, we provided all the necessary code for uh, the training logic. Feel free to stick to it. Once you've done that, um, you can move on to the triplet loss and the hard negative mining. Again, we provided you some code fragment that you can use, and this should then um, work as desired. Once you've done that, you can move on to the last part of the exercise, which is putting everything together. 
that you means uh, using your Hungarian tracker that you've written uh, before and also using your VID model to do appearance based feature matching to get uh, the final tracks. Once you've done that, uh, you can do this uh, or evaluate your um, results on some predefined sequences. And once you're satisfied with that, you can run your model on the test set that you can then upload to the web platform that we provide. Um, so this is everything for this exercise. I wish you all best of luck and feel free to ask us any questions in the discussion board or in the office hours. Thanks and goodbye.